there, friend. A quietness has settled over the landscape as autumn has retreated with winter's arrival. The snowflakes gently fall, covering each twig, stem, and blade. The winter birds happily load up on last year's sunflower seeds as the garden lays dormant and exposed, waiting for warmer days. The days continue to get colder, darker, and shorter as each day brings us closer to the winter solstice. The weary world rejoices as all around the globe the news of Jesus' birth is told to all. November has passed, and the December days rush on by. A cold Canadian front brought us snow midway through November, and just like that, all the colorful leaves surrendered their grasp and piled in heaps under the freshly fallen snow. Outdoor gardening came to a screeching halt, and I'll admit it wasn't an easy month for me. I love puttering away, seeing life and progress in the garden, but each year God has set a time and a plan for rest. A wise friend reminded me the other day that resting is a season as well. How true those words are. May we not only rest from our labors physically, but spiritually as well, realizing that nothing in my hands I bring, simply to thy cross I cling. The December mail brought with it next year's seed catalog. Instantly I felt hope again. God's promises never fail. Yes, just like outdoors it may be dark and dreary in our lives, but God has a future planned in store. Just as year after year each season follows the next, so those who believe on Christ will have a season of everlasting joy after this earthly pilgrimage. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. 1 Peter 3, verse 9. I leave you with a quote from Charles Spurgeon. Losses, crosses, heaviness, sickness, poverty, and a thousand other ills are of the Lord's sending and come to us with wise design. Frosts kill noxious insects and put a bound to raging diseases. They break up the claws and sweeten the soil. Oh, that such good results would always follow our winters of affliction. How we prize the fire now, how pleasant is its cheerful glow. Let us in the same manner prize our Lord, who is the constant source of warmth and comfort in, in every time of affliction. Let us draw nigh to Him, and in Him find joy and peace in believing. Let us wrap ourselves in the warm garments of His promises, and go forth to labors which befit the season. For it were ill to be as the sluggard, who will not plow by reason of the cold, for he shall beg in summer and have nothing. <laughs>